Kill Bill Volume 2 is officially in the books. We uh, pick up where we last left off with Beatrice, aka The Bride, who was uh, left for dead and now she's taking revenge on a whole bunch of assassins and, and the leader of the assassins, Bill. I thought this was going to be, you know, hands down the most brutal of the Hess. Uh, two-parter, but I was dead wrong. It caught me by surprise. This was very heavy in the dialogue department. A two-hour catch-up. William 1 was out to kill, non-stop. There's a, here's a hit list. We're going after this person, we're going after this person. This one's kind of, um, volume two, uh, plays out like, okay, Tarantino's like, okay, let's, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Let's, let's go back to the beginning. Go back to the drawing board. Let's tell the audience. Okay, this is exactly what happened. This is this person. This is that person. Home is 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 very different. Bittersweet, with a little a little kick of uh, sadness and a little bit of dread and a little bit of anger, all mixed in into this blender that we get out of this film. If you're expecting a a shootout. Um, this is not where we're going to get here about, I'd say about mm, 5 to 10% of this film is that. But one thing I will say about Volume 2 is that the cast here again is superb. Michael Madsen, who plays one of the assassins who was involved in the killing of the bride, he realizes that our time's coming and she's going to kick our ass and kill us eventually. Of Daryl Hannah, who's... Again, up assassin. It seems like they're all dealing with the consequences and guilt to to what uh, took place. Tarantino's, you know, does some of his best work, of course. And and a big shout out to the late uh, Robert Carradine, who plays Bill. Now he is the mastermind. He is what sets this whole thing ablaze and his relationship with the bride uh, prior to the assassination is very personal every scene has purpose it has meaning to get to point A one fun little fact uh, Tarantino of course I had mentioned in my previous video his his love for uh, old Hollywood he also likes to throw around the word uh, spaghetti westerns and he's quite fond of those he puts these uh, scenes together that really feel like the Old West. Like, you know, those gunslingers you see outside. You know, uh, kind of reminisces of old, with respect, uh, Clint Eastwood films. Mm -hmm. Thurman, of course, needs no introduction. She puts out some of her best work here. I, I'd really like to see her, you know, one of these days in a, another action film. Or maybe team up again with Tarantino. So see how you know if there's the right role for her you know down the road I'd love to see her back on the big silver screen again but yeah uh, let me know what you guys think about um, Kill Bill volume 1 or 2 uh, what's your favorite Tarantino film do you have a favorite all right let me know in the comments below I hope you enjoyed my uh, previous videos all right uh, if you give me a chance to impress you guys subscribe if you like what you see all right, till then, I'll uh, see you soon. All right, take care.